Yeah, well, and it's fun. I think I think if you're if you have time, the one tonight is fun. Um, I'm talking to I'm talking to Kevin Wong right now, and my musician tonight is Kevin Bong with a B. So it's a it's a lot a lot of Kevins and a lot of Bongs and Wongs. So <laughs> it's a fun day. <laughs> yeah. Cool, cool. We'll talk to you soon. Say, thank you so much, Kevin. I'm really looking forward to this. I will. Okay. Bye. So what's going on there? Is this a happy dance time? I'm going to be on the front page of programming in the Joshua Tree course catalog for their fall session because the healing wilderness wellness uh, programming that we wrote for them is the most important programming that they have in this current situation with COVID-19. Is that a slow clap or a fast clap? I think it's a fast clap. Yeah. Yeah, Kevin Wong gets Kevin, it. Kevin gets it. He's Kevin he, Bong gets yeah, it. All the Kevins with the ending and ongs get it. Yes. Bongs and Wongs, they understand. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. I'm hugging my Welcome to Hiking My Feelings TV. Okay, party people, howdy doody. Welcome. Today is day three of the Hiking My Feelings virtual campfire. I am your host, which sounds like it's a TV show, so I'm rolling with it. I'm Sydney Williams. I'm the author and founder of Hiking My Feelings, and I am so stoked to have you guys here today. Um, what are we doing? This is a fundraiser for the Hiking My Feelings Wilderness Wellness Center. And before I get started with my reading today, I can't wait any longer <laughs> to show you these pictures. So over the course of like our time together tonight, I'm gonna give you like these peaks of the renderings that we've been getting from our architect who's helping us with the design for the Wilderness Wellness Center. So on the screen is phase one. This is what we're raising money for right now. Hang on, yep, there we go. So this is phase one. Um, we are building a 32 foot by 32 foot deck with a 24 foot diameter geodesic dome on the side of a mountain. We have some room for tents. That's the phase one of construction. That's what we're raising money for right now. I am so, so thankful for everybody that showed up tonight and who has showed up for all of this and the people that are yet to come. Universe, I am waiting. I am ready to receive this love and I am ready to spread these vibes. So thank you so much and have a great, great night. And we're done on YouTube. What up? <laughs> so, man, this light is pretty dope, isn't it? This is dumb. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much for being here, and we'll see you tomorrow, okay? Big love. Love you. <clears throat> How was that? I mean everything i expected and then some so perfect yeah that was pretty awesome wasn't it dude yeah he sang the hiking my feelings song he did and a new one yeah and we chat like that was the best like artist interview best sound best like flow yeah that was dope yeah that and, was so and he cool. had your book yeah, i mean book, he, he pointed he, it out yeah he he, he knew he dude that was a great segment for sure god yeah, I sent him, I sent him a message. Thank you. if you're watching this, thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he did great. Oh my God. And you did great. Thank you. Right. The chapter that I'm reading today, we talk about how I got a blister about an hour into a six-day backpacking trip. Pro tip, uh, wearing your hiking boots at your standing desk is not the same as breaking them in. So Tyler's going to give us a bunch of great tips on how to pick shoes and how not to like die on the trail like I almost did. And this chapter is called Chicken and Dumplings. And the last chapter... I had my first um, experience in a dressing room where I didn't recognize my body and I didn't shame myself when that happened. Typically, when I go shopping, I'm kind of a jerk to myself. And for whatever reason, in that dressing room back in 2016, I just kind of looked at myself and I was like, girl, how do we get here? Like, 
what's happening with this body you got going on? So to set this chapter up, the last uh, little thing that happened in chapter two was I asked myself what would be possible if from this point forward we just honored our inner athlete instead of trying to berate myself into being thin or starving myself or working out like a crazy person what if i just said hey i'm an athlete and i want to honor that so here we go chapter three chicken and dumplings starting on page 51 if you're reading along like and i'm not sponsored they're not paying me to say any of this like i bought these with my own money i am just so obsessed with the grip on these shoes these these shoes in particular went from Colorado all the way around the US as we were hiking and healing this year or last year with people. So Tyler, I know you probably make these all yourself. So thank you. Um, <laughs> I'm just so excited to have you here. So tell me a little bit about you and how you got into the outdoor space and working for Solomon in particular. All right, so our first winner, Christine Sheridian, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Congratulations. Number two, Liz Wrangle. Liz, congratulations. And last but certainly not least, Jennifer Alechko. Jennifer is, oh, Jennifer's here today. She's in the chat. Hey girl, hey, what up? <laughs> so congratulations. The mantra for tomorrow is I give love freely and without expectation. And the chapter that I'm reading is, is largely about how Barry and I met and how our relationship started. And my goal for this chat tomorrow is just to talk about what it means to be in a conscious partnership um, with another human being, whether that's running a business, a conscious romantic relationship, um, being friends that are conscious of the whole thing. And tomorrow we have Kenyon Michelle Jackson Salters from the Outdoor Journal Tour. And if you aren't familiar, their organization is unbelievable. Every year they run a program in March for Women's History Month called We Hike to Heal. And it's a, now it's an international event. COVID kind of gutted their plans because they are growing so fast and year over year, they're just hosting more hikes and getting more people out on the trail. And their whole thing is We Hike to Heal. And if it weren't for the work that they do, I wouldn't have found the language to articulate what had happened to me on the Trans Catalina Trail. I knew that big things were happening. I could feel the weight of this trauma lifting off of my body as I was making my way across the island, but I didn't have the language for it. And Michelle and Kenya have been running this organization for a while now. And when I stumbled upon their work, I was like, oh, like that, that's what happened to me. I was healing in the outdoors, but I didn't believe it because I grew up in the Midwest. And I don't know if that's the reason, but where I grew up and in the home I grew up in, if it didn't come out of a doctor's mouth, it wasn't healing and it wasn't medicine. So to go and have this transformative experience on a trail, I felt like I was losing my mind. I was like, this goes against everything I know to be true. Like I should be like popping antidepressants and doing all these other things to get to this kind of healing, but hiking was what gave me that. So tomorrow we're gonna be talking to Michelle and Kenya um, and also Mindy and Tiffany. So Tiffany is, or Mindy is a um, ambassador for the Outdoor Journal Tour in the Seattle area. And so last year we had the pleasure of co-hosting a hike with both Tiffany and her partner Mindy in Seattle and then again with Michelle and Kenya when we went to Atlanta. So between the four of them, I am just thrilled about the conversations that we're going to be having tomorrow. So if you have any interest in hiking and healing and women's empowerment and mindfulness in the outdoors and understanding more about mindful movement, like Kenya and Michelle literally wrote the book on it. So I'm just so excited to have them here. Their work has inspired and influenced a lot of what we do at Hiking My Feelings and I'm just thrilled to have them joining us and we also have a surprise guest which we didn't have a performance lined up for tomorrow night but through the course of this um we ran into or a gentleman from the area who's a local musician his name's nicholas dell um he reached out and asked if he could be a part of it because he believes in what we're doing um he loves the message he loves the work that we're putting out there in the world and it's really in alignment with his music. So he's going to be doing um, music for us live right here from the Reggae Ranch. So similar to how we had Sensi Trails the other day, we've got Nicholas Dell coming out and he'll be like sitting right here jamming around the campfire with me. So um, thank you guys so much for being here. Everybody on YouTube, if you have felt um, something good, if you felt something bad, if you felt anything, if you're feeling like inspired, um, if you're learning stuff, if you think that this is all great and wonderful and you want to have more of this in your life and see more of this happen. Um, one of the best ways to do that is to tell everybody about this campfire.
Thank you. I love you guys. Be blessed. We'll see you tomorrow. Another another one down. Let's keep going. Woo! You know what I'm realizing? What? The more and more you do this, uh, the more and more you are in your lane, and <laughs> it just gets better and better. And I just, uh, again, I'm just proving myself that I'm right. <laughs> Uh, and how amazing you are as a human being. Am I wrong? <laughs> no. <laughs> Give me a kiss. That was a good one. Huh? I love you. Love mm. you. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. That was really good. Uh, that Solomon stuff was really good. Yeah, dude, that was super helpful. That's yeah. Like, I, I didn't know most of the stuff he said. That was awesome. Yeah. I mean, I've heard of it, but right. I just, I figured throwing goo stuff on my feet and yeah. socks it just wasn't going to be a great thing. Well, I'd rather you. just, you yeah. know tough it out and be a man about it <laughs> swing away dude swings open swing is open you, <laughs> so yeah good job huh thank you yeah that was super fun that was fantastic yeah i'm into it yeah i'm gonna go send out this video to everybody oh yeah oh my all the donuts okay i gotta pee first though all right okay What's up, Ohana Kaleo here, and uh, I'm happy to be involved with Hiking My Feelings Virtual Campfire. I met Sydney and Barry, ooh, let's see, um, at a pepper wine experience uh, a couple years ago at a restaurant in Oceanside, California called The Privateer. And um, it was really nice because these experiences, um, you know, they're all acoustic based and they're very, very, very small venues, very intimate style. And I was able to, you know, be able to chat with them, which usually doesn't happen at other kinds of shows for us. And uh, it was really incredible to, to hear their story and what they're doing um, for the world. And then I was able to see Sydney read her book down in Del Mar, her book, Hiking My Feelings, which is an incredible read. And um, it really, really inspired me to do more with them. So, uh, Rebel and Me's, which is uh, Melanie and I's business, is going to do a hike and heal retreat on Catalina Island in September, uh, when this whole this whole thing kind of changes. Um, and I'm really, really happy to play a couple of songs that um, inspire me, and hopefully they inspire you, especially if you've been you know stressed out in these kind of unique times that we are in. So uh, without getting too far into that, let's get started. Nothing like a brand new day. Coming up next time on Hiking My Feelings TV. Beautiful faces, someone that I long to know. Was this love at first sight? Tell us to reunite, I must admit I was confused in my direction. I would have to keep on searching for one.